well, no matter what event I'm at, I always want to have some room to run, which during the regular season, especially at a stadium that's not sold out, can be much easier than when there's a full house at the Derby and the All-Star Game. So for the Derby, I got lucky and ended up in the very front row. There's like a walkway at the front of the left field bleachers. And I caught two home runs during the Derby. I got Alex Bregman in the first round and then Vladimir Guerrero Jr. in the second round. I feel like I should have had four or five, so I'm unhappy about that, right? Boo-hoo, poor me. But no, it was pretty exciting to catch two. And then tonight for the All-Star Game, I paid a lot of money for tickets out in that section by the bullpens where there's a whole walkway behind the seats. I've never caught an All-Star Game home run. That's one of the dreams, one of the goals. And I thought, well, it'll be worth it if I catch one. And if I don't, I'm out a lot of money. But it was still a great night. I was filming for YouTube. And it's, it's going to be a great video. And just seeing so many awesome people throughout the night. And you know, I got five balls today. I got a couple of different ones, actually, in batting practice. Uh, most of the balls were commemorative All-Star Game balls, but there was also a home run derby ball mixed in there today. So I love the commemorative balls with the different logos. I sometimes get on an airplane and fly to another city just to try to catch a special ball. Yeah, I've been to 56 different Major League stadiums in my life, a bunch that have closed down, and some random venues when Major League Baseball goes to play overseas. Progressive Field is definitely one of my favorite places. I just love the design, the layout, all the standing room. That new section they put out by the bullpens in right center. The bleachers is pretty unique. The home run porch down the line. There's so many quirks to this place, but it is a nice new modern ballpark. I mean, I know it's been around for a couple decades, but they've kept it up beautifully. And people are so friendly here. I just love coming to Cleveland. You know, I, I think it's a, a great thing that MLB does, supporting various causes. And of course, Stand Up to Cancer is a big one at the All-Star Game. Um, I lost my dad to cancer, so it's, it's a topic that's near and dear to my heart, and obviously seeing Carrasco out there, a touching moment. It was nice that they paid a tribute, a moment of silence for Tyler Skaggs as well. So even though you have these big celebratory events, these extravaganzas, I think MLB does a good job of putting it in perspective and honoring the things and the people who really deserve it. I love Cleveland, man. I. I wish I didn't live a seven hour drive away in New York City because I'd be here a lot. It's like that awkward distance where it's a little too far to drive and getting on a plane is pretty expensive, but I get here when I can and just love it, love it.